So you guys may know that at last year's E3, Super Smash Bros. 4 was confirmed for both Wii U and 3DS. It has recently been confirmed that it has just started development, and I decided I wanted to sort of make this a series type thing, like what I did with the Xbox 720 and Pokemon Black and White 2, where I talk about what I want to see in this, and how it will fail if they don't do certain things correctly. Keep in mind, this is all my opinion. None of you have to agree with it what at all. And if you don't, feel free to leave comments or a video response. I'll have video responses open, so you can just leave it if you want. Anyway, there's without a doubt going to be differences between the two. They're not going to be direct port, or like the exact same game. They're going to be different. One, th one thing being the Wii U disc, I'm assuming, can hold more than the 3DS cartridge. Since the 3DS cartridge can hold, I think, about the same as a GameCube disc. So, unless we're going back down to what Melee was like, maybe with a little more stuff, they're going to be different. What I want to see... And the Wii U, I'm mostly going to be talking about the Wii U, by the way, but actually, first I'm going to say, I want there to be some sort of connectivity between the two. And what I mean by that is I want different characters in each, like Professor Layton was supposedly rumored for a while to, well, the creator wants Layton in uh, Smash Bros. He's a, He would be pretty cool for the 3DS version, but I don't know if he'd work well on the Wii U version. But say someone like uh, Solid Snake's returning, I don't know, even though he does have a game on the 3DS currently, I don't know how well he'd do on the 3DS. He just doesn't seem like that kind of fighter. He seems like someone that they'd want to keep on Wii U exclusive. So, have some different characters mixed around. Obviously, Wii U's going to have more and stuff, but have it so if, say, I get the 3DS version and my friend gets the Wii U version, I can go to his house and play using my 3DS and just use any exclusive characters to the 3DS and he can battle me on the Wii U. I think that could be managed since all that would need is basic 3DS and Wii U compatibility and I don't think that would be too hard to accomplish. Something else I'd like to see in the Wii U, though, is Subspace Emissary returning, but being bigger. Like, being a longer game, I don't know exactly how long it is. I think it's about two hours if you play non-stop, not 100%, just rush through it. I think you can beat it in about two hours. So what I'd suggest, or what I want is a sequel to it, and... Maybe at voice acting, like I know a lot of the Nintendo characters don't talk, like Link or Mario, Pikachu, Kirby, but the characters that do, like Snake, Sonic, uh, Lucario can talk through Aura, if he returns, uh, Samus from Other M, Zelda, just make these characters actually talk. Like, not text or anything, actual voices. That would be kind of cool. I'm not saying that will ruin the game if they don't have that. It's just going to be cool. And make it a little longer. Uh, don't just have all of a sudden we're getting a whole bunch of characters. Like, jam, 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 jam. And then we go a while and then we get a bunch again. Go. Make it sort of spread out. And make... Make the bosses actually bosses. Like, I didn't feel the bosses were tough, except for the final one in subspace. If I can beat them on hard difficulty, yes, I suck at video games. If I can beat it on hard difficulty, I can beat 
I'm pretty sure they're a little too easy. And the last thing, don't make a huge abundance of third party characters. Or random miscellaneous characters like I've been going around looking at people's fan Smash rosters just to see how much I agree with them. I'm not going to make my own. It's Nintendo's All-Stars. Melee and I think the original Smash Bros. both said that really clearly. It, Nintendo's All-Stars. Snake and Sonic are exceptions. I know people are like, oh, Shadow's been confirmed. He hasn't. I know people are like, oh, put Knuckles and Tails. No, don't. I, I think Sega, duh, don't add any more Sega characters. Yes, that includes others like the Shinobi Ninja, um, who else does Sega make? I can think of lots of characters Sega make, but not, none would really fit in a fighting game. Uh, well, let's just leave it at that. And no more Konami characters either, so no Simon Belmont, no DDR dude. None of that. And don't add third-party characters rapidly. Like, I'd say now if you're going to add one, add maybe Layton to the 3DS and Mega Man or Ryu or someone to the uh, Wii U. But don't add just a crap ton of characters. Because I think that would really suck. For miscellaneous characters, I see people adding Lip from... Pondo, whatever it's called, that stage in Brawl where, where you're on the flowers and you attack them and they move. The person from that, she's a puzzle game character released only in Japan. Why would she be playable? Uh, there's also Starfy. Like, who the hell wants to play as Starfy? Um, Lakutu, he can't fight. Shy Guy, he can't fight. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Skull Kid, he's not really important to the Zelda series besides Majora's Mask. He's in Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, but I, he's not really important. Uh, crap ton of Pokemon, crap ton of random Mario, crap ton of random Zelda characters, random Metroid characters that had tiny cameos in one game. And people feel they need to put them all in Smash Bros. The Wii U disc and 3DS cartridge are not going to be unlimited. There's going to be a limited, I believe. They said about 50 characters for Wii U. Uh, which Melee had 25. 3DS will probably have about 25, 26 around there. If anyone from Nintendo watches this, which I highly doubt, please listen to these concerns I have and feel free to leave your guys's comments or video responses if you would like but don't be like oh this idea sucks just give your opinion honest opinion